Good afternoon and welcome to CICK Smithers Community Radio 93.9 FM on unceded Gidimdun territory, home of the Wet'suwet'en First Nation. And this is a very special lounge car session brought to you by the Players of Orchestra North Summer Program, a wonderful program we've been doing in Smithers for about five years now. And part of the experience of Orchestra North is making chamber music. So we have players who come to us from all over Northern British Columbia, and we put them together in groups. And we say here, make music in two days, you're doing a concert. <laughs> and so first today we have playing a uh, Baccarini flute quintet. We have Lainey Cotton on flute, uh, Esther Lenkeek on violin, Carol Harrison on violin, Maria Dykstra on viola, and Brad Dykstra on cello. Hello, this is Toby Moisey, and I would like to thank uh, sponsors of Lounge Car Session, City West. They are, you can find them at 3762 2nd Avenue, 1-800-442-8664, and they're open from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday to Friday. They are a local alternative for your telephone, fiber internet, and cable television needs. Thank you so much for playing with us on the radio. Uh, Esther, can you tell me a little bit about your favorite part of Orchestra North? Uh, I really love playing with so many professionals and also being able to play with people who aren't as great. And then you can learn from other people who know different things than you. And Esther, where are you from? I'm from Surrey, down in the Fraser Valley. Welcome to Smithers. Lainey, I know that this is not your first time at Orchestra North. And I'm wondering if you can tell us a little bit about how Orchestra North has changed over the years gotten more and more professionals coming to help us and as more people hear about it the group gets bigger and bigger and more complex which is really great to play with mm -hmm. wonderful um, so thank you very much for joining us today at Smithers Community Radio so Orchestra North brings to Smithers many many musicians and uh, because we have so many musicians here, we thought we would do lots and lots of concerts. So coming up this week, or coming up tonight actually, we've got some big concerts. We have a, at 6 p.m. If you at the Bethel United Church, we'll have an ONSP soloist concert. And then again at seven o'clock, we'll have the Turning Point Ensemble, which I'll be playing in. And from 8.30, we're gonna have a jazz lounge with the Gordon, with the Gordon Urban Jazz Quartet. Can you remind me what your name is? Carol. Carol. Um, you are one of our, um, I would say, mature participants. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice uh, week. And I'm curious, uh, how do you feel, or what kind of experiences have, have you had with intergenerational music making? What, what's it like making music with, with people of all different ages in an ensemble? Oh, I really enjoy it. It's really nice to have different 
different perspectives and the energy of younger younger people and um, you know it's just it's a really good experience wonderful okay Um, and we also have concerts on Saturday night. Um, actually, we'll have concerts all day on Saturday, beginning at 9 a.m. We're going to have the Smithers Guitar Camp in performance at the uh, Farmer's Market and a drop-in art workshop for kids from 9 to 11.30 at the Central Park Building. The Fiddlers will be playing in the museum at 10.15 to 11 a.m. And from 10.30 a.m. to 12 p.m., we're going to have the sp uh, Spirit of the North on the Farmer's Market stage. And that is going to be a combination of ensembles and marimbas and uh, alphorns will also be playing at the Farmer's Market from 10.30 to 12 p.m. Uh, we will have at the Smithers Public Library children's songs with Jeremy Berkman. At 12, we'll have, at 12.30, we will have a series of recitals in the Central Park building. At uh, 12.30, we'll have marimba, 120, we'll have the harp in the gallery. 220, all things brass. And 315, we'll have cosmology for cello and live electronics. Uh, that is a wonderful performance. I interviewed the composer yesterday on Culture Shock, and he wrote this piece uh, with influences from the sounds that NASA recorded in outer space. Uh, 6 p.m., we're going to have brand new music, the Northern Composer's world premiere concert. And at 7.15, we'll have the ONSB Academy Ensemble. And at 8.15, the wrap-up of Spirit of the North. Thank you again for playing at Smithers Community Radio. In his trunk, with a borderline joke to the guys at the bar, yeah. and they slap in knees. Okay, well, you want to talk as well? Maybe. 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 35 years old, wearing his badge, like nicknamed for life on the show. The war is bomber that he wears as a coach of the high school team. He lights a cigarette. Yeah, sure, I, I could yeah. do that eventually. Yeah. He says, man, right now. Right now? Yeah. These things will kill me someday. Raises his glass and says, here's the phone. So as we are waiting for our next ensemble to pass through the station, currently they are orbiting Main Street, uh, coming, going, f playing from station to station in, in on street corners and in restaurants. I would like to talk with the composer himself, Nicholas Denton Protzak. Hello. Hi, everyone. Nice to see you all here. Um, 
My name is Nicholas Denton Pratsek, as Toby just said, and I will be performing um, my own composition called Cosmology at the Central Park Building um, at 3.15 on Saturday. Now this piece is, is inspired by some very ethereal uh, influences. you want to tell us more about that? Well, yeah, to make a long story short, um, basically uh, about a year ago I got interested in, in a few um, tapes that NASA made um, back in the 1990s by the, the, the Voyager spacecraft. Um, what ended up happening was the Voyager spacecraft, as it, as it flew by all the planets in the solar system, it picked up a bunch of radio waves that the pl planets would emit. Um, and when they got these signals back um, from, the, from the spaceship back on Earth, um, basically what happened was they, uh, they converted these um, radio waves into sound, and they actually turned it into an album, which was then published. Um, and interestingly enough, um, the sounds that come from these converted radio waves are very, very interesting. Uh, and I got very interested in them, and I ended up writing a composition based on um, these sounds. Yeah. Now, part of this composition is uh, tape music or pre-recorded music. Uh, did you make these sounds, or did you are these NASA sounds involved in the composition, or did you just use these to make to synthesize new, brand new sounds? Yeah, well, uh, I didn't actually sample any of NASA sounds directly. Um, just, you know, for practical reasons and for personal reasons. One of the practical ones being I didn't want to get involved in <laughs> copyright, of course. But, uh, but, the, but the personal reason was that I, I really wanted to try to make something mostly inspired by the sounds that they made, something completely new. So I actually I, I used a digital audio workstation, and I, and I synthesized sounds completely from scratch, not sampling anything, um, but, but inspired by the sounds that I heard on, heard on this album. And the result was something that I, you know, uh, had to had to mess around with a lot, and I had to teach myself a lot about ha about you know digital audio editing. But I ended up becoming quite happy with the result. Yeah, wonderful. And uh, where are you from? Where have you been? And what has brought you all the way up north to Smithers? Well, great question. I um, I'm originally from Kelowna, BC, uh, Kelowna, BC, and I. Um, I uh, studied cello and piano starting at age five. Started cello at age seven. Um, and basically, I got more and more into music as I grew older and older, and um, eventually I started taking lessons in Vancouver. Um, then after I graduated from high school, I spent one year at the Vancouver Academy of Music, um, and then I transferred to San Francisco Conservatory of Music, uh, which is where I've been for the last four years. I just finished my bachelor's degree there in cello performance, um, and I will be uh, continuing on there for a master's degree, um, starting... Uh, in, uh, in August, actually, um, for another two years. I'll be majoring in composition with a minor in chamber music. And I heard about Smithers originally from Roxy, actually. Roxy would play in the Okanagan Symphony, um, and, uh, and she one, one day invited me to come up to Smithers and, and help teach and um, perform here. And I was very glad to come, and this is my third year here. So it's great to be here again. Yeah. And you're also a, a member of the Academy Ensemble? I am yes, and we'll be pu we'll be putting on a few concerts throughout the um, or just short performances throughout the course of the um, of the of ONSP, and we'll also be going on a short tour after um, the orchestra program is done. And it's been great working with uh, the rest of the academy performers. I, I suggest you go on the website and check out everyone's bios. It's definitely worth it. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Uh, also with us today is another member of the academy, Alex Chernada. Welcome, Alex. Hi, glad to be here. Thank you. And uh, where are you from? What do you play? Uh, I am from Coquitlam, so down Vancouver area. I play the clarinet. Yeah, and I have a second uh, minor in oboe. In oboe, clarinet and oboe. Very uh, interesting combination. Uh, and can you tell us a little bit about your experience at ONSP and at Smithers? Um, yeah, it's great. Um, there's so many, so many great people that. Um, participate and the cause is, is great. I mean, all this whole um, wildfire situation is uh, pretty intense. So um, it's great to be to know that you're working for something that's um, it's, it's a good just cause. It's great. Yeah. And also, I mean, so many great people, so many great uh, uh, musicians coming in to, you know, we teach and we get taught and it's a great experience. Thank you very much, Alex. Okay, so we do have our uh, next ensemble here in the studio with us. And we have with us, can you please tell us, tell me your name? My name is Jane. Um, my name is Joseph. My name is Graham. 
And Jane, what are you guys playing today? The Sky Boat Song. The Sky Boat Song. Okay. And that was the Sky, Boy, Sky Boat Song, a traditional Scottish tune played by Graham Yoder, uh, Joseph Jakobek, and Jane Curra. Now, Jane, can you tell us a little bit about your favorite part of ONSP? Um, I did like the arts and crafts, and I also like playing Sky Boat Song with the rest of my group. Do you often get to play in a group of instruments? Mm. Yeah. You do, often. Well, wow, that's very lucky. And uh, Joseph, what's your favorite part of ONSP? Um, well, I like we put together pieces over the past week, and we're doing a mass orchestra tomorrow, and I just like hearing it all, all together. And Graham, is ONSP a lot of work? Is there a lot of music to learn in a short amount of time? There's quite a bit, but there's not too much that you're overwhelmed with it. And can you share with me your favorite part of the week? I think my favorite part of the week was just being around people and having fun learning music. That's wonderful. Thank you very much for joining us here at Smithers Community Radio, CICK 93.9 FM. And this is a special Lounge Car Session brought to you by the players of ONSP. And Lounge Car Sessions are sponsored by City West, a local alternative source for all your internet needs. And we will just have a short break while we get the next group on the stage. The hometown hero rose to his feet, tossed him a gun and said thanks, but I've got to run. I'll take a pack of camel lights and be on my way. He stepped outside the door, heard the sirens in the distance, with a cigarette, and said, man, will kill me someday exhaled smoke and said here's to both day.
out of space, it seems. Deep, 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 I dream of a child, I dream of you. Hello, and we are here with Hannah, Talitha, Melody, and Natana, and they are going to play a hornpipe by Handel. Hornpipe uh, by Handel. Now, Talitha, can you tell me what has been the most exciting thing that's happened to you this week? Um, playing with um, this group. And where are you from? Telqua. All the way from Telqua, B.C. Oh, wow. Welcome to Smithers. <laughs> and Hannah, have you enjoyed playing at Orchestra North? Yes. And what is your most wha what has been your most exciting experience? Playing in mass orchestra. And what's exciting about playing in mass orchestra? Being in the group and just playing to have fun. Can you tell me how many people are in the mass orchestra? About how many how many do you think? There's a lot of people in that room, eh? A hundred? Probably about a hundred. I think it's more like a hundred and twenty people. Have you ever played an ensemble with more than 100 people in it before? No. Wow, must be a pretty amazing experience. Yeah. And um, Melody, hello, welcome to CICK. And what has been your favorite part of the week? Um, we do workshops, and I took the conducting workshop. I think that was the most exciting thing in this week. And what did you learn in the conducting workshop? Well, we learned how to conduct, and... <laughs> Um, how to read a score, how to, we actually conducted a small group of people. And do you think learning how to conduct is going to make you a better violinist? Well, yeah, so then we can follow the conductor more easily. And s because we know what it's like, we know what the beats are, how to follow the conductor. And Natana, uh, Orchestra North uh, for you has been a very fun experience, I'm sure, and it has also given you the opportunity to be a mentor. And I'm wondering uh, how is this mentorship experience, can you just ex describe what you get to do as a mentor at Orchestra North? Orchestra North is an amazing opportunity to work with absolute professionals and complete beginners and be somewhere in the middle and so there's something for everyone. I'm learning a lot 
about how to teach and also more about my instrument. And where are you from? I'm from North Battleford, Saskatchewan. Wow, so are you probably one of our farthest uh, participants? I think we have some further, but yeah. <laughs> okay, wow. Well, thank you very much for playing here at Smithers Community Radio, 93.9 FM in the Valley and around the world at smithersradio.com. I'll drink my river, straight my feet, and drown in my dreams. It's not as bad as it seems. it seems Hello, and you are listening to CICK 93.9 FM. And we are now with uh, some Academy members from Orchestra North. We are with Judith and they'll be playing the Terzetto by Dvorak.
Thank you very much. Now, Simon, can you share with us a bit of your academy experience at Orchestra North? So this is my first year doing the academy, and uh, it's been a blast. It's been a really great learning experience. Um, so the academy, what we do is it brings together, uh, this year it's six musicians from around BC. Actually, well, we have one from outside of BC, Denver, Colorado, but brings together six young musicians, uh, and we play music. We co-sort of, we help teach um, the young students from the um, program. We are teaching assistants to the faculty. And then at the end of the week, um, we go on tour throughout northern BC. So we're going to play some of the music, including the Dvorak Terzetto, that we've rehearsed and that we've learned over this week. And we're going to tour around five towns, four towns in northern BC and in Prince George uh, and just share the music with the different communities. So it's been really fun. It's been exhausting. It's been long days, but it's been really great. Wonderful. And Leah, so uh, you're from Denver, Colorado. I'm curious, what did you expect to find all the way up here in northern British Columbia? Um, well, I knew that there was going to be a really good opportunity to learn about teaching and also having a great opportunity to work with other musicians like Simon and Judith. Um, yeah. <laughs> And Judith, you are also doing something quite spectacular this year at Orchestra North. Would you like to share a little bit about the solo you're going to be playing with the orchestra? So every year uh, at Orchestra North, we have an event which is happening actually tonight uh, at six o'clock, I believe. And we, we call it a soloist concert. It's an opportunity for players of all the levels at camp really to kind of share what they've been working on in their solo repertoire during the year. And um, last year I got talked into that, and it was it was a lot of fun because I, I got to play with uh, with Roxy Dykstra was playing piano with me, and it was just a really fun opportunity to kind of collaborate with her. And I ended up kind of winning this opportunity to play a solo with the orchestra this year, which is um, something I've never really done before at, at this level. And uh, kind of you know I, I discussed with the directors, and we decided that there's there's this gorgeous piece for viola and symphony orchestra called the uh, the Romance by Brook Max Brook, um, and it's it's a slow but you know it's it's got contrasting sections, and it's just this really beautiful piece that we get to do, and a, a great orchestra part, great viola part, and we'll be performing that tomorrow night at the uh, symphony finale at 7 p.m. I believe at the Christian Reformed Church in Smithers, and that's been really fantastic just to to have that opportunity. Wonderful. Judith, Simon, and Leah, thank you so much for sharing your music with us here at CICK Smithers Community Radio. Please stay 
And welcome back to Smithers Community Radio, a lounge car session with the players from Orchestra North 2017. And we are here with Donna, Alina, and Anna, and they're going to be playing you a trio for flute, oboe, and clarinet by Paul Dewayi, and it's called Abad. Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing your music with us here at CICK Smithers Community Radio. Donna, can you share with us some of your highlights from uh, Orchestra North this week? Well, it's been a great week just to collaborate with a bunch of different musicians and everyone brings their own talent, which makes it really special. And you come from a, a bit of a ways, don't you? Yes, I'm from Whitehorse. So this being called Northern BC, well, there's a lot farther north to go. <laughs> And I'm curious, how did you hear about Orchestra North? I heard about it last year. I think um, they had brought brochures up to our music festival. 
Well, thank you so much for coming all the way here. And Alina, this is your second year here with Orchestra North. And d would you do you have some highlights that you would like to share? My highlight this year was actually um, I went to Rodney, our uh, composer in residence, uh, workshop. Uh, he talked. Uh, he analyzed the Mozart clarinet concerto uh, slow movement, the first thirty bars, and the more you look into it, the more there is. And it's not surprising, but still super surprising at the same time. And you just find that there's so much in there that you can always bring out more. And has Rodney inspired you maybe to start composing some of your own works for clarinet or for other instruments? Working on it. <laughs> oh, wonderful. And Anna, welcome to Smithers. Uh, where are you from? I'm from 108 Mile Ranch. 108 Mile Ranch. Uh, were you was your home affected by the fires? Um, we were a little bit, yeah. We had to be evacuated for a couple of weeks there, actually, but um, everything's fine. Our house is okay. And we'll, we're glad to have you here. Um, we're not, we don't very often get oboists, especially oboist students all the way up here. And I'm curious, uh, what's it like to come to Orchestra North and be, you know, a, uh, one of the, uh, one of the mature players, I guess, or the, one of the more, um, senior players of your instrument and being able to be a mentor to younger players of your instrument? Uh, it's been really interesting for sure, yeah. That's um, be, since oboe is such a rare instrument, um, it's a different kind of shoes to fill um, than playing an instrument that everyone plays, like violin, for example. So it's really interesting being able to work one-on-one um, -on -one with my professor and then also with um, the other younger oboist who's here as well. It's lots of fun helping her out. Are you learning more about your own instrument when you have to start teaching about it? That's for sure, yeah. When you think about it... Um, in order to be able to present something to someone else, you have to have different ways of thinking about it and different ways to show them how to do it. Um, so in that way then gets you to think about your own instrument and your own playing differently as well. And one of your highlights from the week? Um, probably this chamber group as well as um, I really like the Dvorak. We played it in youth orchestra this past year um, in Victoria. So it's good to come back to it again for sure. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Donna, Alina, and Anna, for playing with us here at CICK, Smithers Community, Community Radio, 93.9 FM. And that concludes our lounge car session for Orchestra North Summer Program. Tune in next year around this time, and hopefully you'll be able to catch some more music. Thank you very much, and I'd like to thank our sponsors, uh, City West Internet, and you can find them at 3762 2nd Avenue. You can call them at 1-800-442-8664, and they're open from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday to Friday. They are a wonderful and local alternative for your telephone, fiber internet, and cable television needs. Thank you very much, City West, for supporting us here at CICK. We would not be able to offer and play wonderful music by wonderful people without your support.